Welcome everyone to another startup and complete car documentation. What we have here is a 2021 Toyota Camry LE all-wheel drive. This Camry is painted in midnight black metallic. And by the way, I really like this exterior color. When it's not in light, it just looks like a straight up black. But when you look at it in light, it actually has some really cool looking blue metallic flakes. Anyways, on the key you have the buttons for lock, unlock, trunk release, and panic. Front door panels have storage with bottle holders. And you get power windows, locks, and mirrors. Cloth seats come on the LE trim level, and this one features the ash interior color scheme. On this LE, you do get a fully powered driver's seat. Now that we're behind the wheel, let's go ahead and start the engine. Who hasn't heard of the Toyota Camry? Competing in the mid-sized sedan segment against rivals like the Honda Accord, the Camry has been one of hands down the most popular and commonly seen cars out there for many years. Over the decades, the Camry has gained a reputation as a comfortable, solid, efficient, dependable choice for car buyers. The Camry started off as a four-door version of the Toyota Celica called the Celica Camry, which was sold from 1980 through 1982. Then for 83, the Camry became its own standalone model. As of 2024, the Camry is still going strong. This 2021 model we have here represents the XV70 generation of the Camry, which made its debut for the 2018 model year, and is still the Camry's current generation going into the 2024 model year. This was also the first generation of the Camry to be built upon the Toyota new global architecture. It also comes as either a fully gas-powered car or a gas-electric hybrid, much like recent Camrys that came before it. The XV70 Camry shares its underpinnings with the 7th gen Lexus ES and the 5th generation Toyota Avalon. For 2020, the Camry received a new performance tuned TRD variant, as well as the option of all wheel drive, something the Camry hadn't been offered with in nearly 30 years. 2021 also added a few changes, such as the discontinuation of the base L trim level, updated infotainment, and subtle styling revisions. The US market 2021 model year Camry was offered in the following trim levels. First, for non-hybrid models, LE, XLE, SE, XSE, and TRD. Then for Camry hybrids, LE, SE, XLE, and XSE. The base engine option is a 2.5 liter inline 4 that makes between 202 and 206 horsepower depending on the trim and drivetrain. A 301 horsepower 3.5 liter V6 was optional on XLE and XSE and standard on TRD models. Finally, the Camry Hybrid combines a 2.5 liter inline 4 with an electric motor for a combined 200 to 8 horses. Front wheel drive was standard, but all wheel drive is an option for non hybrid 4 cylinder models. As for transmissions, all non hybrid Camrys use an 8 speed automatic, while Camry Hybrids use a CBT auto. Standard across the range for 2021 is Toyota's Safety Sense 2.5 Plus suite of driver safety technology. In Toyota's US 2021 sedan lineup, the mid-size Camry was slotted between the compact Corolla sedan and the full-size Avalon. In the instrument cluster, we have four analog gauges, which are your tachometer, speedometer, fuel gauge, and temperature gauge. And then there's also a large digital info display, which can be gone through via these controls on the steering wheel. Average fuel economy, digital speedometer, any driving aids you might have on, and 
all sorts of settings. Pretty straightforward. Once you get used to it. It has a three-spoke design, heated leather-wrapped multifunctional steering wheel. As for controls, you got your audio controls along with your voice command and Bluetooth. Info display controls right there. And then you have your cruise controls. It also has adaptive cruise or radar cruise. So you got the gap adjust for that and also your lane tracing assist. The steering wheel is tilt and telescopic. Storage for the driver, your auto high beam toggle, traction control toggle, the power releases for your trunk and fuel door, and the toggle button for that heated steering wheel. Climate vent for the driver, trip button and panel dimmer. On this side is your exterior lighting stock, and on this side is your wiper stock. Mm -hmm. Going down the center of the interior, you have your touchscreen infotainment system along with some physical controls along the side. We'll go over that more in a bit. Passenger airbag indicator, hazard switch, your central climate vents. You've got a set of single zone climate controls right here. In front of the shifter, some storage, more storage behind this tray. Also got a USB-A port and a 12 volt power outlet right here. Two cup holders. Putting it in reverse does reveal a backup camera with guidance lines. You can toggle between camera views. Parking brake is electronically operated. You also have auto hold. And right here you got three stage heated front seats. Large center console. You also got another USB A port and a USB C port. The glove box is lockable. Both sun visors do have vanity mirrors and extensions. Manually dimming rear view. On the overhead console, you've got your overhead lighting, roadside assistance, and a sunglass holder. And there are grab handles at all four corners. And finally, here is your touchscreen infotainment system. I think it's a pretty simple system to use. So right now is the home screen with your audio, phone, and then your eco info, but you go to menu, main audio screen. Now you have resources, AM, FM, Sirius XM, plus your Bluetooth audio streaming, which is nice to have. Different apps, screen projection, many settings. This screen you can look at how economically you've been driving, vehicle alert history, and whatnot. But other than that, I think it's a pretty simple system to use. But now we'll go ahead and roll down the driver's window and take a look at the engine bay. Now, props to Toyota for giving you fully automatic up and down, one touch for all four windows. I've seen six figure luxury cars that don't even have that. This one has been fitted with aftermarket 20 inch velocity, gloss black alloy rims.
powering this Camry is Toyota's Dynamic Force 2.5 liter naturally aspirated inline 4 engine. It's an all aluminum power plant with dual overhead camshafts, 4 valves per cylinder, D4S port and direct fuel injection, as well as Toyota's VVTi technology. In LE all wheel drive models, horsepower is rated at 202 at 6000 RPM, while torque is rated at 182 pound feet at 4400 RPM. Power in this one is directed to all four wheels and the transmission is an 8-speed automatic with manual shiftability. Running on regular or leaded with a 14.4 gallon fuel tank, EPA estimates for a Camry like this one are 25 mpg in the city and 34 mpg on the highway. It has a McPherson strut front suspension and a multi-link rear suspension. Stopping the Camry are four-wheel disc brakes with vented front rotors. Curb weight for an LE all-wheel drive Camry rounds up to 3,500 pounds. Fuel cap, as you saw earlier, is on the driver's side. In the back door panels, you also have storage with bobble holders. Sixty forty split folding rear seats as well. The front passenger seat does have a map pocket on the back. Rear passengers do get a little bit of storage right here. Along with a folding center armrest with two cup holders. Coat hooks on either side. And as for space back here, I'm about six foot one and I put the driver's seat in a comfortable position for myself. Leg room is pretty good. As you can see, foot room's all right. Headroom is pretty good. My head has like about an inch before it hits the roof. Definitely a reasonably roomy back seat back here. has a single exhaust. I like how the trunk opens all the way up when you hold the button down. The trunk of the Camry offers 15.1 cubic feet of cargo space, which can be further expanded on by folding down the rear seats. where you can fold those seats down. Anyhow, thanks for checking out this tour of this 2021 Toyota Camry. And as always, stay on the lookout for future tours.